videos of public events that President Biden is participating in when he looks like he may not know where he is or that his age has caught up with him. These are actual publicized events. These aren't secret camera events. These aren't trying to catch him off guard. For instance, uh, the videos include the one at the D-Day ceremony where he was trying to sit down on a chair that didn't exist and had to be kind of pulled back up. Then you also had uh, a Juneteenth ceremony last week, again, where he kind of kind of forgot where he was. Uh, the G7 summit on Thursday. Uh, the, and then the latest video that has gone viral is one we, we talked about a little bit, which was with uh, uh, former President Obama and Jimmy Kimmel Logan. And that one, again, you had former President Obama, not like in a friendly way, pat on the back, just like, hey, you know, we were bros, we were doing this yeah. together, but like literally holding up like his grandfather. Yeah, we and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and some of your news organization uh, have uh, have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the right wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation. When President Biden kind of freezes up and Barack Obama has to come and kind of make the save, if you will. The main thing that's frustrating about this, Will, and we've discussed this, is all they would have to do is is if you're going to address it, Address it with, yeah, he's an older guy. That's right. You know, this is a guy who's dealing with stuff because he's older. Doesn't mean he's not mentally fit, but he's physically 80-something years old. They decide to go on the, you know, defense and say, how dare you? These videos have been manipulated. And then they come up with their own term, their own term that now they can spin, as politicians do, uh, the cheap fake term, obviously implying, you know, the deep fake technology that's in right now trying to make you kind of think that's what they're talking about because deep fake is obviously AI generated or something where a face is manipulated to be, it's not real. Cheap fake is what they're now terming is, which please do not use this, which is all they're saying is, you're seeing this selectively edited. A shorter bite. This is from Nicole Wallace on MSNBC, and clearly she has gotten the White House talking point. Yeah, fire me up and this it is, uh, let's take a look at what she had to say about what they're calling cheap fakes. There's a growing and insidious trend in right wing media, broadcast, print, and social media. It is to take highly misleading and selectively edited videos of President Biden directly from Republican National Committee social media accounts and then use those videos to spread messages virally to cast doubt on President Biden's fitness for office. Here is this headline from the New York Post, quote, Biden appears to freeze up, has to be led off stage by Obama at Megabucks LA fundraiser. The full video posted by Biden finance chair on Twitter shows something entirely different. Biden reacting to applause and then walking off stage with former President Obama. It comes less than one week after the New York Post made a cover out of another piece of deceptively edited tape, calling him meander in chief due to what they claim was Biden walking away during a skydiving demonstration during the G7 summit last week. That is not a cheap fake to show that to the American people. It's fair to show the American people the state of the president that they are going to have to make a decision about whether they're going to reelect or not. Look, the propaganda arm of the Democratic Party, the media in America, is really in a dangerous situation. They are helping a regime, a uh, hook, line, and sinker. They, they always take the side of the Democrats. Uh, they push the Democratic messaging. They've lost their credibility. And I, I can you know, promise you the dictators around the world are looking at the control that the Democratic Party has over the media in America, and they're jealous because with every single thing we see, we can watch a video and the media says, you're not watching this in the right way, or it's a fake. Um, and, and so many in the media repeat that, but look, you know, look at the video and you will see Barack Obama with his hand on Joe Biden and he doesn't let up. He literally takes him by the wrist, then he takes him by the, the arm, then he takes him by the back. It happens all the way off stage. And, and this is the problem that, that people see. It is, come on, Joe, you need to go with us and I'm gonna escort you all the way to the end. 
Uh, this is troubling. People see it for what it is. And I think that the story is now becoming the media cover up. Played the first part uh, but uh, of her statement trying to say, you know, these are cheap fakes. But then she tries to turn this on President Trump as well. And Rick, I want you to hear it and for our audience to uh, take a listen. Cheap fakes, videos of real events that are intentionally manipulated to fool viewers released on an RNC opposition research social media account with zero independent fact checking by these so-called journalists and spread throughout the right wing ecosystem. And we would take the hand wringing by right wing media about Biden's mental fitness in videos intentionally manipulated to make him look unfit, maybe a little more seriously, if they weren't radio silent about the repeated glaring and real mental lapses happening behind podiums and on camera on the part of Donald Trump. The video doesn't lie. Uh, you know, er all the spinning is silly to try to pretend like we're not watching this or that it's fake. People see it. They see it for themselves. Uh, this is the problem that that uh, the media has with social media, because social media is really just you and I. It's anybody posting a video. And what the legacy media doesn't like is they lose control of the narrative. So they attack it. They call it misinformation. They they say, you know, you the social media is out of control. It needs to be controlled by Facebook or Instagram or, or Twitter. You know, all of these uh, institutions need to have people that are figuring out what's right. They're trying to push their editors. The legacy media is trying to push their editors onto social media so that they can also grip it, control it, strangle it and use it for exactly what they do with newspapers and with cable uh, shows that are completely left wing. If you're watching MSNBC, you don't see any dissenting view. They could have eight guests. Every single one of them agrees. There's no dissent. It doesn't even matter if they have an R next to their name. They all end up agreeing. I mean, that's that, that, the joke of MSNBC. They, they may have an R next to their name, but they are uh, no longer really affiliated with the uh, traditional, I guess, Republican Party that is actually trying to win uh, the next elections, whether that's the presidential elections, uh, the Senate elections, House elections, state elections as well. She's not saying these videos are not real. She's saying is the way you're seeing them isn't what actually happened. So don't trust your eyes. Don't trust your vision. These aren't, she's not, but she's using terminology that is to make you think she's saying that these are fake videos.